Hey everybody, it's Sam. I really enjoy listening to everybody's posts, especially because I learn better by talking things out, so I got to learn and get your perspective about these different theories. So I will um, go over everybody's video, what I liked about it, and um, I like to look at everybody else's as well. So to start off with uh, Hannah Bingham, I really liked how you went into detail about the intersectionality and how it doesn't fit into one bubble but a lot of different identities and I think that's something we can all easily identify with and um, I really liked that one as well. I wanted really good depth about that theory. Um, then also, but what I really liked that you talked about is the, um, the counter storytelling and I actually had an opportunity when I was volunteering this week at Gateway Clubhouse to talk with the members about uh, some of the theories that we learned and discussed in our videos and uh, one of them told us their background and their story and it was really interesting to hear their point of view about that. And moving on to Hannah Brown, I really like that you brought in the additional um, survey about um, elite colleges accepting more um, predominantly whites compared to African Americans and Hispanics. And he also were, um, were talking about the open access colleges. I just read the book um, co Community Colleges and the Access Effect, how it suppresses achievement. So I just read a paper on that for um, Dr. Ryder's class and I do find it very interesting. I do work at a community college and I do see that, however, I do see on the other side that there are people that are still successful. So there's just different things we have to look at. Um, but definitely it's something that we can't ignore because there are people that excel really well in high school. And then when they get to the college level, it's not, um, they're not excelling well. So it's good to get down to the point. And another thing I like that you said was to view the curriculum. And it reminded me about uh, Dr. Strayhorn when he talked about the music class he went to and he thought it was going to be the best thing. They were going to get out the grand piano. They were all going to be ready to play the music, learn about Beethoven and other very historical musicians. But that was not the case when he got there. They were all interested in Little Bow Wow and Little Wayne and all the little other littles back when he was teaching. Um, so he went to the store and bought all the different um, artists that they listened to and would put them on the wall. And he adapted to what they were wanting to learn because they weren't there to learn about Beethoven. And moving on to Megan, I really like how you focused on the experiences and how that can be a part of your identity. And I also relate that to um, my volunteer work as well because everybody that I work with all have brain injuries. And so it's interesting to see, um, to hear their stories before their brain injury and then now. Um, so that, I definitely would agree, you said the experiences shape who we are. And I definitely agree, especially just in general, growing up, uh, maturing, becoming an adult, and then also through my volunteer work. And I also like how you talked about um, if we, for when it comes to racism, even though it probably can't be eliminated, but we can still, um, if, but if we do nothing, it'll set us back farther. So we cannot turn a blind eye um, as professionals and just uh, people in society as general. And I think that's a good uh, key point. I also brought that up with the members at the clubhouse and we had a nice discussion based off of that. So I thank you for that. And last but not least, Eric, I really like how you discuss the model with the six sectors and how you went over each of them and pertained it to your life growing up. And uh, of course, I wouldn't necessarily understand as a white female and I always enjoy hearing other people's stories and how they come and view life and society and how they've been treated, how their family has been treated in the past. Um, I just, I find it very fascinating to see where we all come from different places, but we all might have had gone through something. Um, but one thing I found interesting was that you said in the adolescence, uh, not a lot of interaction other than family and then the ideas are based upon your family ideas. And I was just wondering why is that? Um, and maybe that's just because maybe the culture is different, but I just would, um, that would be my question for that. And that's all I have for everybody today. I hope you have a great weekend and a great night. Bye.